caught in the political crossfire is the state's Democratic governor, John Bell Edwards, who joins me live now from Baton Rouge. Governor, thank you so much for taking time away uh, from the crisis to join us. I want to talk about uh, th those politics in a minute. But first, what are your most urgent needs at this point? Well, Dana, this is a historic, unprecedented flood event. And because it wasn't a hurricane or a tropical storm, this, this rain event didn't have a name. Uh, we have folks around the country that I think are just now realizing how significant it was. And so we really need help. Uh, typically, by this point in a storm, I think Red Cross would be receiving a lot more uh, donations. I think there would be more volunteers signing up. Although we have uh, some of that in place now, it would be very helpful if people would donate to the Red Cross, to the Baton Rouge Area Foundation, uh, and also to, to come in and volunteer to help people get back in their homes as quickly as possible. And you're getting what you need with the federal from the federal government, rather? Yes, and Dana, this time last week, I submitted uh, the formal request for an, a national um, declaration, and the president granted that within a few hours and called me uh, and I will tell you that the cooperation we've had with our federal partners at FEMA has been extraordinary this week. Uh, I don't have any complaints at all about the, the relationship that I've got with FEMA, the assistance that they're providing, uh, the timeliness of that assistance. Uh, but we have now transitioned from response to recovery, mm -hmm. and this is going to take uh, many months. So uh, Donald Trump and Mike Pence came down uh, to Baton Rouge on Friday. You mm -hmm. dismissed the visit as a photo op, and you said you wished that Trump would make a donation to a relief organization instead. We did, did, by the way, check with the campaign. They said that Trump made a $100,000 donation to the Greenwell Springs Baptist Church where he visited. But mm -hmm. uh, here's what your fellow Democrat, former Louisiana Senator Mary Landrieu, said about the visit. I want to thank Mr. Trump for coming to Louisiana. He brought attention to our state, and we need that now. So, Governor, why is she wrong? She's not, and, but, but you mischaracterized what I said. Mm -hmm. I didn't dismiss his trip as a photo op. Before he came down, I said, I'll, we welcome him here. We want him to be helpful, and we hope that it doesn't turn into a mere photo op. So you got the story backwards. Okay, so was he helpful? Now that it's come and gone, was he helpful? Was it a good thing that he came down? Well, I, I think, yeah, for the reasons that I stated earlier, uh, because it helped to shine a spotlight on Louisiana and on the dire situation that we have here, uh, that it was helpful. And I will tell you that I also appreciated uh, the good phone call, the conversation that I had with Governor Pence, uh, who was sincere and genuine uh, when he called and we spoke for a, a long time on Friday morning about their desire to be helpful. Now, following Trump's visit, the White House announced that President Obama will travel there on Tuesday. Uh, and that came after a local paper, The Advocate, which you're familiar with, published an editorial calling on the president to cut his vacation yeah. short and come down. Now, you defended the president, saying that you'd rather him delay his visit to preserve resources. Um, I just want to be clear. Did you ask the White House not to come down, and did they want to come? I would never ask the White House not to do what, what the president wants to do. Did the White House uh, want to come down earlier? I've been talk the White House asked me, uh, in fact, the president and Valerie Jarrett asked me when would be a good time for a visit. Mm -hmm. I asked them to let us get out of the response mode where we were still conducting uh, searches of houses and we were still making rescues. I didn't want to divert the uh, police officers, sheriff's deputies, and state troopers and other essential resources and assets uh, to providing security for the president while they were needed in this region uh, to undergo those or to undertake those response activities. And I asked that if he could wait until the response was over and we got into the recovery phase, which I predicted we would do over the weekend and certainly uh, next week would be a better time for us to visit. But the president is welcome to come uh, to our state anytime that he wants to. Former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani released a statement harshly criticizing you this week. He said, the Democratic governor's criticism of Mr. Trump's visit to Louisiana is an outrage and completely inconsistent with their criticisms, criticism of President Bush's decision 
to not go to New Orleans immediate ap immediately after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, Governor, I was actually a White House yeah. reporter back then. I was with President Bush when he visited uh, five days after Katrina hit. And a lot of folks, especially Democrats, complained loudly at that time that it wasn't soon enough. Is there a double standard here? No, and I'll tell you that, that I, I believe that Mayor Giuliani got it completely wrong, perhaps for the same reason that you did. I have not been critical of Mr. Trump's visit. I have tried not to comment because I don't want to get tied up in the politics of whether it's the president, whether it's Hillary Clinton, or whether it's Donald Trump. Uh, I've tried not to comment, and the comments that I have made have been very reserved, uh, and so I, I think he was off base uh, there with, with that comment. Uh, as for when the president visits, I think I just went over that. He's welcome to visit when he wants to, uh, but because we were undergoing the response here in the capital region, uh, I asked that they consider coming next week, which ultimately is what he's going to do. All right. Well, Governor, you've got a lot of important work to do. I want to, don't want to keep you any longer. No. I just want to reiterate for our viewers what you said at the top of the interview, that the biggest help people can give, uh, who want to give, is to call the Red Cross to, to donate there. And you can also, for more information on how to help volunteer or where to donate, go to CNN.com slash impact. Governor, thank you so much for your time. Good luck to you.